Would you like to start by saying something or shall we uh, ask questions? Uh, uh, this is a tremendous win. You know, it's, it was a great atmosphere. I don't know if that came across on television tonight, but a great atmosphere. I felt like every Rhode Island student was here. Um, and it was uh, obviously they, they really played well in the first half. And, uh, you know, I, I thought our togetherness and resiliency and um, teamwork and uh, everything, all these positive attributes really showed in the second half. And that, that's a tremendous win, a difficult thing to do on the road. Uh, you mentioned resiliency and teamwork and um, maturity, uh, poise. I wonder how much that has to do with it, just having an old team and not being shaken down 15 early in the second half. Yeah, exactly. I, I think I think you're right. I, I think knowing that it's a long game, you know, what, what the, the whole halftime we just talked about our strategy in the second half. Uh, we didn't dwell on anything that we might have done better in the first half, just talked about our strategy. The guys, I think, understood that, took it to heart. We talked about playing a lot of guys and rotating guys in. Uh, we knew that would be important. Um, and then just making sure we continued to press. But even if we got beat a couple of times, we wanted to continue to press uh, and try to just really be aggressive offensively as well. Like let that press and that aggressiveness lead to our offense where we could be starting at full speed rather than starting against a set defense. Thank you. Thanks, John. Chris, where does this press come from? Is it something that you thought would be successful tonight because you're not a pressing team or is this something we might see more of moving forward? Yeah, you know, we, we've pressed uh, a little bit over the years. And, um, you know, we, we pressed in the Davidson game. And, uh, you know, I would say we probably could use it a little bit more. Sometimes the key to a press is not using it all that often. But tonight we, we, we wanted to rotate fresh guys in. We wanted to have our traps be aggressive, not have a passive press, which is trying to make them throw it back and forth, which sometimes we do and teams do. We want it to be aggressive. And it really, it really paid dividends. And it wasn't so much a ton of turnovers, although there were some timely ones. It was just the the, uh, the the energy and effort that we were playing with. Uh, it made it really, really difficult on them, and it really seemed to give us a tremendous boost. And we wanted to stay in it. You know, even when we got the lead, we wanted to stay in it because we thought it was that effective. I don't think you ever want to get to the point where you're comfortable being behind in the first half, but you've done it so often this year, and these guys have come back. Is there a point where you're not – stressed when you fall behind by 15 because you know what this team has in it or is it just always a roller coaster ride yeah that's a good point I, I think as a coach and as a staff we have a bit of a plan when we're behind you'd like to not go to that but, but maybe once or twice a season uh and and, and you know tonight and, and some other games you've had to go to that and um but there is a uh, you know, we want to start the game. Actually, we started the game well tonight, but but, but we didn't finish the first half well. Um, you want to start the game great, uh, but you also want to realize it's such a long game. If you watch college basketball, the runs that are made and, you know, the, the you know, the way teams come back and fight back, it's, it's, it's part of the game. And, and we want to be a team that's good at that. We don't want to have to prove it so often, but we want to be a team that's good at that. Thank and what you. changed? Uh, what changed on defense, particularly when you guys applied the pressure early in the second half? It seemed to kind of shake them out of their rhythm a little bit. Uh, yeah, you know, I think I think we started out the game up uh, seven nothing or ten nothing, something along those lines, and we were doing a really good job defensively, um, forcing them into what we wanted, um, making them take tough two point jumpers, making it tough for their big, and uh, you know, we sort of got out of that there halfway through the first half. They got in a little bit of a rhythm, and I don't even think necessarily we were we were doing making too many mistakes, but I think they were just too comfortable, too much in a rhythm, and that was just sort of the emphasis at halftime. If we were able to sort of get back into that uh, into that you know grittiness on defense and making sure we, we made the force them to get what we wanted, that uh, we would be right where we wanted to be at then. And on the on the flip side, uh, getting your offensive rhythm going there, what was the key? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing for us was just making sure we continued to move. Um, I think, again, sort of as they made their run in the first half, uh, we sort of took the first shot available, which necessarily wasn't a bad shot. But um, the more and more we moved the ball on offense, uh, the better looks we got. Um, I think they had a hard time guarding sort of our motion and what we were running. 
And again, that was another thing at halftime. Uh, I don't think it was necessarily we were doing anything crazy bad. I think we just had to get back to what we did the first four minutes of the game and we were able to do that. Hey, how much does the maturity of this team, the experience of this team, the age of this team allow a game like this to happen? Yeah, obviously it's huge. You know, that we knew coming into this place, um, some of us older guys, this is our, our third time here. So we, we knew what it was going to be. It was going to be a tough physical game. Um, we didn't, you know, we weren't going to get the calls that we wanted or felt like we're right. And, you know, we just grinded it out. Um, sort of the emphasis was chip away, get it down to eight by the, by the first media in the second half and just go from there. And that's what we did. And we just continued to chip and chip away. And we were right where we wanted to be at the end. And guys made huge plays. Thank you. Thank you. Grant, your first half struggles, is it on a case-by-case -case basis or is there something that you guys can put your fingers on that is just keeping you from playing in the first half like you've been playing in the second half? Uh, yeah, you know, I think overall this season we've done a really poor job at the beginning of games, specifically the first four minutes, first six minutes. Um, I think tonight was a little different because, like I said, you know, I think we did a really good job and did exactly what we wanted the first six minutes of the game. Um, but just overall, um, you know, whatever it is, we need to make sure we figure it out and make sure we have the starts that we want, especially on the offensive end um, and on the defensive end, just making sure we turn our defensive possessions into good offense. And whatever it is, we need to definitely figure it out there in the first half. You guys aren't a pressing team per se. Uh, how long, you know, how much do you work on that in practice? And um, it, it, it worked really well tonight. Do you anticipate using it? moving forward, especially on Saturday. What, what's that? You were talking about the press, you said? Yeah, you guys aren't typically a pressing team, but is it something that you've worked on? Is it an added uh, uh, added focal point in practice? Yeah, um, you know, like you said, we don't do it very often, but I think every time we do do it, um, we, we get pretty good results. You know, obviously, because we were down so much against Toledo, uh, we used in the second half against them. Um, we've used it very sparingly throughout the year, but I mean, when you have the all-time leader in steals and in say history, obviously pressing is, is going to cause some havoc at some point. Um, Tyler's super long and athletic. Nate, him, having him up there, same thing. Um, so I think it does good things for us, and uh, especially Tyler and Gilly. You know, they made some huge ones for us when we when we went to it tonight down the stretch. And uh, yeah, I definitely see it uh, being something we use throughout the the rest of the year.